Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed. It seems as though we're in our home now, or our character's home. Uh, let's take a look around this place, shall we? You've got a framed photograph which hangs on the wall near the bed. Okay, an old photograph of yourself, Sammy Logan and Jonah. How did this get here? Hmm, I don't know. A faded old poster of a heavy metal band, Axis of Weevil. That's a good band name. Uh, what else have we got? A scratched up violin and bow. We've got a rusted sword up here. It looks like it might break if we cough loudly. Uh, we can go downstairs. There's an empty stained old sea chest. A little brass elephant with a memento of Siam written on the underside. Uh, what else have we got around here? A whole pot of espresso just for you. Somehow it's always hot. Very nice. Can never have too much coffee. Okay, uh, cognac here. Someone has good taste. Outside you can see the hustle of downtown nightlife on the street below and it is uh, chucking it down with rain it appears as well. Uh, anything else around here that we haven't seen yet? Yes, there's certainly some eclectic reading matter in this bookcase. And I believe that might be about it, apart from the tiny twin bed. Small, but you slept like a rock. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is our house, is it? I'm guessing it's to do with the uh, the people that we met before. Maybe it's like their base of operations or something. Uh, let's head downstairs and see what happens next. Ooh, look at this place. Wow. That's an entrance. Uh, what have we got here? Sharp little knives dot the surface of this target. And there's all sorts of things here. Helmet's been buffed to a gleaming shine. It looks like we can actually interact with this. That helmet is cursed. Any warrior who dons it would find their head squeezed until it breaks. Oh. They would be wary of touching it. Yeah, we don't want to wear that then. <laughs> Sounds horrible. This bottle looks uh, incredibly ancient and is engraved with indecipherable characters. Do not even consider it. it you're not going to tell us what it is? A plain wooden shield hangs on the wall. Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. <laughs> okay, sorry. Vicious looking weapons decorate the wall. Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. I'm just having a look. Don't worry. Uh, okay, more vicious weapons. We've got some sort of shields, more weapons. Uh, there is a training dummy covered with deep scratches and <laughs> we can see why that's the case. We can go... These old stone steps are black with... Is that soot? And there's a doorway which leads to a study. Uh, so, let's talk and uh, see if we can find anything out, you I guess. You are awake. Did you sleep well? Uh, I had some odd dreams, like a baby. You are lucky. Many report having strange dreams when they sleep here for the first time. Love the, the music. to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. Hmm. It may take some time for you to process it all. Okay. Uh, who you call him mundane? That's me, Miss Unpredictable. You came out of a bottle and I'm not freaking out. I'm processing it, okay? I believe you might be right. Especially if last night is any indication. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you okay. are ready, seek him out. We can do in that. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. I'm sure we've got questions. I wonder what this uh, stuff floating around in the sky is. Well, it's not in the sky, but... Well, I suppose oh, it's in the air. Let's ask some yes. questions. Uh, can we talk about the Unavowed? Certainly. What is your question? I, I don't know. What does the Unavowed do exactly? We are peacekeepers. We protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural. We help who we can. Destroy ones we must and recruit those who are willing. Okay. With you, I suppose we did all three. Yeah. Okay, how long has the Unavowed been around? As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York branch is only 400 years old. Only. As long as there is need of us, we will be here. And how come I've never heard of you before? We do not exactly advertise our presence. We prefer it that way. Yeah. But the truth is, the last century has seen a diminishing need for our services. Things have certainly changed. Okay, changed? Yes. Supernatural threats have been escalating. It happened so suddenly we were caught unprepared. We had become complacent. We have not been recruiting. You are the first new recruit in decades. The first of many, we hope. Hmm. I'd like to ask about something else. I will do my best to answer. 
Okay, I have some questions about yourself. Let's go through, like I said, if you're new to the channel, I love to exhaust dialogue options and really look at everything. So it's going to be a, a slower paced let's play than just speeding through and getting on with the plot. Me? What do you want to know? Uh, you're a genie? The term is Jin. And yes, on my father's side. And no, I do not grant wishes. So half Jin then. How long have you been with the Unavowed? When was this city founded? 1624. Yes, I was just a child, but it was around that time. Okay, you're 400 years old? 418. No, 19. My birthday <laughs> was last month. It is difficult to keep track, but father always remembers. Yeah, I mean, I, I often forget how old I am, and I'm only in my 30s, so after 400 and something years old, I can imagine that it gets uh, a little bit difficult to keep track of. I will do my best to answer. Uh, can you tell me about Eli? Eli is my partner, and a dear, dear friend. We have saved each other's lives more often than we can count. You and he have much in common. He was once mundane, like yourself. I would recommend asking him about his transition. It might help with your own. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a photo of me in my room. Who put it there? I do not know. Huh? I am not being facetious. I honestly do not know. This building has housed many agents over the centuries, and they too have been given gifts. Interesting. Photographs and portraits of loved ones, precious possessions long since lost. We do not question it. We merely accept it and be thankful for it. Huh. So the house does it. About last night. Last night. Yes. You gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, but it was a wily thing. Uh, it, I didn't hurt you, did I? You hurt nobody. Your demon hurt several. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could. But we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. Not according to that ligamental or whatever it was called that we met last time. I'm still not sure if I made the right call there. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Last night, yes, you gave us quite the chance. Do we have anything else we can we ask know about this? nothing about the demon that was inside you. It was. Uh, no. Okay, let's skip through this then. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Uh, no, we don't want to leave you to it. We've got more. We've got more questions. Please do not. I, I don't want to disturb them. I was trying to click on you. <laughs> more yes. questions. Uh, oh no, okay. Thank you. That is all of the questions. Fine. Can we go down here? Before- we yeah, we can. Ah, this is what- Ooh, Cool, he's practicing his fireball techniques. An old colour photo of Eli and Mandana. Ah, feeding the pigeons. What else have we got? Quaint suburban house. So, Beckett. So is his name Beckett? Eli Beckett? Guess so. There's another photo here that I'm guessing is him and his wife. I wonder how old he is. Some precisely calculated fireball trajectories. So it looks like the house has given him quite a few more photos than it has of us. I wonder who these are. Maybe his daughters? So this looks like maybe, I don't know, 1950s? Maybe older? I'm trying to sort of gauge it from sort of era in these pictures so I would guess he is actually quite old a scrawled list of obscure formulas it's all Greek to you a man at a desk in this one not sure who that is maybe it is him uh, what else have we got here I think that's about it fire extinguishes a wise precaution yeah okay should we talk to him there's not a single singe mark on Eli's fingers or hat hey don't surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. So he's a fire anyway, mage. Hi. You settling in okay? Yeah. This place is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I guess it kind of is. Where else can you see a guy throw fire without paying for it? <laughs> True. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not going to happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. Yeah, we do have some questions, actually. Could I ask you a few questions first? I don't see why not. Uh, can we talk about the unavowed? I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? We want to know... Uh, let's see if this adds up. Well, we're sort of supernatural police. Sometimes there's a threat that only we can handle, and we go and handle it. Well, I say sometimes, but 
Lately, it's been a lot more than that. Be interesting to see if he gives different answers. Gosh, uh, a really long time? Sorry. If you're looking for a history lesson, Mandana or Kalash are the ones to ask. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, we do good work. That's all that matters. Fine. Uh, how come I've never heard of you guys? You know, I wondered the same thing when I first joined. I mean, we're careful. We use veils. I don't throw fire around Times Square or anything. <laughs> but the real secret, nobody notices us. It's kind of uncanny. Mundanes go through crazy mental tricks to pretend we're not there. Right. So maybe the mundane world isn't ready for us yet, but they will be. They won't have a choice the way things are going. So mundanes are normal people, I'm guessing? More threats? How much is a lot more? Let me put it this way. There are 732% more threats than there used to be. Wow. Give or take 0.5. A year ago, we'd usually be called out once a month, if at all. Now it's almost every day. And me and Mandana, we're the only ones dealing with it. Until now. So they're busy. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Let's talk about yourself. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Yeah. Ask away. Okay, how long have you been here with the unavowed? Since the Nixon administration. Okay. I'm, uh, older than... Yeah, so he is older then. Just how old are you? If you must know, I'm 92. Right. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. <laughs> so it does seem like if you're part of this, you don't necessarily age yeah or you age it, slower it is what it is okay i'm a mage we live long lives and a story hmm, okay why do you live down here why do you think fire mage here i could easily burn this place to the ground if i'm not careful <laughs> i needed a place to practice and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice besides i don't feel the cold so it's quite cozy down here no oh, that's pretty cool so you're a wizard Ooh. Never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. <laughs> I'm a mage with a capital M. The capital is also important. Okay. At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. So I wonder if we're going to get any sort of powers or anything like that. Doesn't that fire hurt? Nope. Kind of tingles, but that's it. Hmm. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though, I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. <laughs> Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests nice. before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Bet that was embarrassing. Uh, Mondana told me you used to be mundane, like me. Someone's been telling tales out of school, huh? I used to have a pretty normal life. Then one day I set my office on fire. With my mind. Wow. Then stuff happened and Mondana found me. She brought me here. The rest is, well history okay stuff happened yep <laughs> what kind of stuff happened i see why you made a good bartender people just want to tell you their life stories huh yep we want to know i bared my soul enough for one day barely even know you ah uh, come on about something else. okay fine well enough about you let's talk about someone else sure uh okay about last night uh yeah you might not want to talk about this about last you night you had time to process it i know i have to be honest, bit. I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. So it looked like he was throwing, yeah, lightning rather than... So if he's a fire mage, how does he throw lightning? Four days? Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know it was an accident, but we made the right call. Oh, he summoned it. We couldn't let it eat those people, even if they were dead. Hmm. So I'm satisfied with how everything turned out. Okay, so Eli seems to be suggesting we did the right thing there. Can we ask any more? You had time to process it? To be honest, I just... I know we couldn't let it eat... So no, okay, we can't. Could I ask you about some of the pictures on your walls? Look, I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe next time. So maybe this is the type of thing where over time, maybe if we go, I don't know if we go on like cases or whatever, or if we come back here and this is like a base of operations thing, whether we can like slowly get to know these guys better or something like that. Sort of a Mass Effect crew sort of mechanic, if that makes sense. A uh, photo appeared on my wall. Do you know how it got there? Huh, you too, huh? It yep. wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are who you were right don't think about it too hard 
I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll leave you to it then. Right. See you around. See you around. So I guess we're going to have to go and speak to Kalash, I believe his name is, who is through this door. But I'll tell you what, guys. We're out of time. We're going to do that in the next one. I'm really enjoying this so far. The lore and the story is so rich, and I'm just really enjoying immersing myself in it and uncovering everything about the characters and the house and the unavowed and everything. I'm really, really looking forward to whatever comes next. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminator Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.